Allison Transmission is a leading designer and manufacturer of vehicle propulsion solutions for commercial and defense vehicles, and the largest manufacturer of medium and heavy-duty fully automatic transmissions. Allison Transmission Control Modules, or TCMs, are responsible for the efficient, powerful, and reliable operation you've come to expect from an Allison Transmission. In this video, we're going to examine how to properly set up your TCM, as well as recalibrate and install different TCM settings. First, we will look at setting up TCM Reflash for your transmission. TCM Reflash, a software application available from Allison, allows users to download TCM calibrations from an online database and install those calibrations into TCMs. This training overviews the recalibration process and other key TCM Reflash software features. Reference the TCM Reflash User Guide, available from the Applications Help menu, for additional information and details. After the TCM Reflash program is installed on the computer, a link is placed in the File pull-down menu of Allison Dock for PC. Click the Launch TCM Reflash option and the program will load. If TCM Reflash is being used as a standalone application without Dock installed on the same PC, it is launched using the desktop shortcut. To start using the program, enter your username and password and click the Login button. You will be prompted about connecting to the PCCS web server. Click Yes if you need to download calibrations. When the connection is successful, the TCM database selection window is displayed. For our purposes, we will select the 5th Gen Production Database by clicking on the button with that name. The first time the program is used, a short setup process is required. This is accomplished in one of two ways. Click on the File menu and choose the Application Setup option. Or click on the link following the translator device. This displays the Application Setup dialog window. The Customer Name field is available for users that have one primary customer. A customer name may be entered here, so it does not need to be entered for each calibration download. Select the communications adapter being used from the drop-down list. For 4th Gen databases, there is a communication protocol option. Select the communications protocol you'll be using to connect to the vehicle. The tool will auto-detect this option for all other databases. Checking the Fast Write and Fast Read boxes will speed up calibration loads. If TCMs are only loading partway before a failure occurs, uncheck the Fast Write and Fast Read boxes. Select the connection type being used to communicate with a TCM, either the reflash harness or directly to the vehicle diagnostic connector. If using the In Vehicle option, select the appropriate baud and channel types for the installed TCM. If a barcode printer is being used, be sure the barcode printer port is set to the correct port. COM1 is the most common setting. When all options are set, click the OK button. The TCM Reflash program saves past setup configurations. Setups for each transmission series database are stored separately, and therefore each database must be set up individually. Next, we will look at downloading and storing calibration information. Calibrations must be downloaded from the PCCS web server before being loaded into the TCM ECU. Calibrations are added from the main calibration screen by clicking the Add button. This brings up the Add Calibration window. For 5th Gen calibrations, you can use a TCM serial number, TCM assembly number, VIN, or transmission serial number to add a calibration to the database. For our purposes, we'll use a TCM serial number. Once the number is entered, 
Click the View Summary Report button to preview the Calibration Summary Report. You will be directed to the ACCT section of the Allison Hub. To view the report, click on the ACCT menu on the right and select the Summary Report option. Select the Search By criteria Enter the search value and click the Generate HTML button. The summary report is displayed. To download a hard copy of the report, click the Export to Excel button. There is a checkbox regarding calibrations for dyno or stock TCM ECU usage. Check this box if there is no transmission serial number for cases where dyno testing is being performed or a stock TCM ECU is being supplied. Select the Vocational Model Based Cal Only checkbox when only loading the Vocational Model TCM assembly number. This is used when adding non-road ready calibration. In this case, a TCM assembly number is the only option that can be used. The TCM serial number, VIN, and transmission serial number fields are grayed out and not available for use. The quantity of a particular calibration to be downloaded can be increased. Viewing a shift point report when using the 5th Gen database can only be done when connected to a calibrated TCM by using the reports menu in the software. For 4th Gen database calibrations, you either need to input a CIN number or a TCM assembly number, depending on which one is available. For our purposes, we'll use the TCM assembly number. Once the number is entered, click the View Summary Report button to preview the Calibration Summary Report. View a Shift Point Report by clicking on the View Shift Point Report button. This displays the Shift Point Report window. Enter the Driveline Reduction Ratio and corresponding tire revolution information in miles or kilometers and click the View button to display the report. Shift point reports may not be available for all CINs. Allison Transmission continually updates these reports to ensure their compatibility with the latest CC level. Therefore, a certain amount of delay is present in the system. The This Calibration is being loaded into an A59 TCM checkbox is only an option in the 4th Gen database. Select this option if the calibration being added will be loaded into an A59 series TCM. When selections have been made, click the Add button to store the calibration information into the Calibrations for Download from the Web Server window. The calibration appears in the top pane of the main display window. Now let's see how to properly install and maintain TCM settings. To download a selected calibration from the Web Server, click the Submit button. Use Submit All to download all of the calibrations in the list from the web server. All of the information previously entered is displayed in the appropriate fields. Select the calibration to be loaded from the lower pane and click the Load button. The Load Report Form window is displayed. The TCM compatibility is validated and the current TCM configuration section of the window is populated from the PCCS web server. Fill out any additional information in the Additional Tracking and Barcode Information section
and click the OK button to begin the reprogramming process. A progress bar displays the completion percentage of the operation. For 5th Gen TCMs, the Allison VCP window is displayed and the progress of the programming feature's load status is displayed. A prompt is displayed indicating all parameters were applied successfully. Click OK to continue. A prompt appears requesting to print a barcode label for affixing to the TCM. Choose Yes or No based on whether or not a label printer is installed on the computer. At this point, all calibration logs are automatically uploaded to the PCCS web server if the PC is still connected to the Internet. This is indicated in the upper left corner of the TCM reflash window. TCM Reflash will automatically check to see if the calibration being loaded is compatible with the connected TCM. When the OK button is clicked in the Load Report Form window, a notification pop-up will appear if the calibration and TCM are not compatible. For calibrations containing billable features like FuelSense, as indicated in the Billable Features column of the Downloaded Calibrations pane, a pop-up window is displayed when the Load button is clicked. This window indicates the calibration contains a billable feature and asks if the TCM being reprogrammed is a replacement TCM. Click Yes if the TCM is being replaced to transfer the entitlement to the new TCM. Click No if the TCM is a new TCM. This will trigger a billing statement for the entitlement being loaded into the new TCM. Finally, let's see how Allison's sixth generation controls maintain Allison's cybersecurity goals while impacting Allison DOC and TCM Reflash. Control System Cybersecurity Sixth generation controls cybersecurity goals include preventing mission interruption, the term that describes changing, impacting, or preventing the transmission from performing as intended preventing unauthorized tools from programming Allison software, and protecting Allison intellectual property. From a technician's perspective, sixth-generation control cybersecurity features primarily impact Allison Dock and TCM Reflash. Dock and Reflash must be able to authenticate with the TCM to perform certain functions. Authenticating unlocks the TCM and requires the tool to be connected to the Internet for communication with Allison's product cybersecurity system, PCS. If an Internet connection is not available, authentication is possible using a cybersecure USB dongle. Dongles are an essential tool available from the Noragon System's Allison Web Store. Once purchased, dongles must be initially set up or provisioned using Dock or Reflash when connected to the Internet. Provisioning is accomplished using the Allison Certificates section available under the Help drop-down in Dock or using the Allison Certificates link in TCM Reflash. Service channel users receive 50 signs when provisioning. Signs is the term used for dongle authentications. When a dongle authentication is performed, the number of available signs decreases. When the dongle runs low or out of signs, it can be reprovisioned using the Allison Certificates feature in Dock or Reflash. Dongles require a PIN to unlock. PINs can be changed by the user, but entering an incorrect PIN 10 times results in the dongle erasing itself, requiring an online connection to reprovision. What activities require the use of a dongle when working offline? All TCM Reflash events require a dongle when offline and will decrease the sign count by two. Allison Dock reprogramming events require a dongle when offline and will decrease the sign count by one. Many Dock action requests require a dongle when offline and will decrease the sign count by one. What Dock action requests can be performed offline without a dongle? Reset adaptive shift parameters or clearing all shift data. Clear all shift adaptive parameters. Reset auto detect for retarder and oil level sensor. Resetting prognostics information, including the oil and filter life monitors and transmission health monitor. 
Engineering Calculations Upload Current TCM Configuration Thank you for watching and learning about Allison Transmission's TCM Reflash and how you can download, install, and configure your settings for optimal performance. For a comprehensive review, contact your local Allison representative or take the Allison TCM Reflash course on Allison eLearn.